want to go back uh, to November 19th of 2020. You were not Secretary of Health at the time. Um, but the House of Representatives unanimously passed House Resolution 1087. And that resolution required the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee to review information on death reporting and testing. The Legislative Budget and Finance Committee was denied death certificate data, which was critical to a thorough review. And you and I had a very good conversation um, when we met in my office about understanding what happened during the COVID-19 pandemic, accumulating that information, and recording it so that future generations can make um, better decisions based on what we did well and what we did not so well. But the Department of Health cited that data disclosure protections within the vital statistics law uh, to explain why it denied that request. And Department of Health was correct the, that that information is generally protected. However, the law also provides two very important exceptions. The first is for requests from, and I quote, an agency of the government. And the second is for research purposes. So in your opinion, um, is the General Assembly one of the departments of the Pennsylvania government? I, again, I am not an attorney, um, and how we interpret those laws, I really, uh, are, I'm not. I, you are not willing to comment on the record as to whether or not the Pennsylvania General Assembly is part of a department of the Pennsylvania government. You're definitely part of the government. I, I'm not sure Thank how you. that is. Are, are you aware that the General Assembly is tasked with the oversight of all of the other departments of state government? Yes. Are you aware that according to the Department of Health, the department that you have now been tasked to lead, the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee, which is a bipartisan research agency of the General Assembly, established by enabling legislation in 1959, is not considered to be an agency of the government according to the Department of Health? Senator Phillips Hill, I am not familiar with what happened at that time and the decision making that was made, so I really can't comment. Well, let me go on to share with you. The Department of Health claimed that the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee study required under the unanimously passed House Resolution 1087 was not research, despite the resolution being adopted unanimously by the House, and then it was also unanimously adopted by all four bipartisan officers of the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee. So the General Assembly created the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee to assist in its oversight function of state government. Then passed a resolution directing that committee to do research to understand exactly what happened with COVID-19 deaths and death reporting. Now, the uh, executive deputy secretary shared earlier in one of her responses that uh, they share that you regularly share certain death data with other government agencies. You, you gave that response. I believe it was either to the gentleman from Philadelphia about deaths uh, with, that are violent and, and other types of death, yet, you don't share this important health data so that we in the future will not make mistakes of the past or better yet, we'll assure that we make good decisions based on the good decisions that we made in the past, but we really don't know. So I will say this to you, in the interest of transparency, accountability, and legislative oversight, will you commit to providing the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee the records under the vital records law necessary for us to conduct this essential research. Again, I, I'm happy to work with you all to ensure that you have access to data that you need to make decisions. 
Very good. Then I will make sure that I go back to the executive director of the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee to let them know to resend that request to you. Um, we would very much appreciate that data so that this important research project and oversight of the General Assembly can be completed. I thank you very much. I also believe, uh, Kristen, that the data we share um, on those websites is aggregate data, not individual level data to protect. Uh, we're privacy. not talking about data that you share on the website. There were actually, in that report, there were several recommendations that have been made. My understanding is that um, you have done some of them, but not all of them. And that's a conversation we would certainly look happy, forward yeah. to having in the future. But I appreciate that yeah. you are going to turn the data that the Legislative Budget and Finance Committee was directed to acquire through House Resolution 1087 to them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.